Now we have another problem here that says x divided by 5 equals negative 26 plus 16. Well here again the first thing that we notice is that we have negative 26 and a positive 16. These are like terms. They need to be combined first. When we do that we have x over 5 equals negative 10. Remember your positive and negative rules. And remember we're still solving for x so we need x alone. Right now it's being divided by 5. So the opposite of dividing by 5 would be to multiply by 5. When we do that, we have x on the left hand side equals negative 10 times 5 is negative 50. Hopefully, for this next example, you see right away that we have a distribution. We have 6 multiplied to more than one term. So we're going to have to distribute that multiplication. 6 times 3x would give us 18x. 6 times a positive 1 would give us 6 equals 19x. Now at this point, we should notice that we have x's on both sides of the equal sign. Well, we still need to combine those like terms. Remember whenever we moved numbers we did the opposite operation to remove them from a side. We can use that same idea to remove this 18x and place it over on the right hand side. We can, instead of adding or a positive 18x, we can subtract 18x because 18x minus 18x will wipe each other out. Now when we do that, we now have 6 left on the left hand side and 19x minus 18x is simply 1x. So our answer is x equals 6. Here again we have another distribution problem so we need to do our distribution first. Negative 2 times negative 1 would be a positive 2. Negative 2 times negative 3y would be a positive 6y equals 7y. Look, here again, just like in the last example, we have y's on both sides of the equal sign. We need to literally move this, remove it from the left side, and place it over on the, left, the right hand side. So in the opposite of adding 6y would be to subtract 6y. When we do that, now we have 2 equals 7y minus 6y is 1y, or simply 2 equals y. In this example, we have negative 7 equals 2x minus 1. Well, here we have both properties going on at the same time. We have our x here that we need to get alone but it's being multiplied by a 2 and then it also has a 1 that's being subtracted from it. The, the 1 that's being subtracted from it, this is a looser bond. It's not near as tightly bound together as the, the multiplication is. So we need to get rid of that first. I kind of call it getting rid of the stragglers. In order to undo a minus 1, we would have to add 1 to both sides first. Now what we're left with is negative 6 equals 2x. Now we still need to get the x alone. Instead of multiplying by 2, the opposite would be to divide both sides by 2. So now we have negative 3 equals x.